Welcome to the Linux Geek Channel. Today we're going to go over how to install Pro Tools 10 on OS X El Capitan. So this is what happens if you try to install it and you're running uh, anything above OS X 10.9. Everything looks great until you get this error right here. Alright, so from here we're going to just go ahead and close out of this. It didn't work. Uh, as you can see, this is the version I'm using here, OS X El Capitan version 10.11.3. Um, but this would be effective for anything above OS X 10.9 to where Pro Tools won't install. So we'll go ahead and close this off here. Leave our Pro Tools up. Uh, just click the desktop somewhere so you can get back to your finder. And then you're going to go to Go, Computer, pick your hard drive. Okay, so from here we're going to go into System, Library, and then we're going to look for Core Services. And now we want to look for the system version .plist file. Right here it is. So what we'll do is grab a copy of that to our desktop. And let's just make a copy of it just for extra safety. Put that there. <coughs> so if you open this file here, it's probably going to ask us to unlock it when we um, want to save it. As you can see, it's locked here. Ignore that for now. So we're just going to go in and change this right here where you see string change that to 10.9 there we go we're gonna unlock that's fine and then we're gonna come down to this string here so we have product visible version 10.9 and product version that also needs to be 10.9 then we're gonna save that file So at this point, we're just going to go ahead and close all this out, and we're going to restart so we can go into the recovery mode. All right. So now we're going to power the MacBook going. When we do power it on, you'll start to hear the Apple sound a couple seconds later. When you hear that, you want to hold down the Command and the R keys at the same time in order to get into recovery mode. So let's do that now. Continue to hold those down. Once you get into recovery mode, you should see something like this here. We're actually going to go up to utilities in our menu bar. And we're going to go down to terminal. Alright, here we're going to use something called CSR util. And let's check the status on that. Should be enabled. Alright. And what we want to do is disable that. That basically protects your hard drive. And it, by protecting your hard drive, it's protecting the folder that we need to edit a file inside of. So that's why we're making this change here. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and restart the machine. Do a sync reboot. And just go ahead and let it boot into its normal cycle. So now you'll see the login screen here. Go ahead and log in. So now we're going to go back into Core Services and copy our modified systems version.plist. So you want to go into your hard drive, click System again, Library and we're looking for core services and now we're just going to go down and look for our system version .plist file so here's the original one again if you take a look at that you can see the OSX version at least for mine is 10.11.3 uh, yours may vary but it, anything over 10.9 is going to make the installer crash so let's take a look at our modified file just to make sure we have the right file here and as you can see, I've modified the product user visible version to 10.9 as well as the product version to 10.9. So we'll close out of that and let's just drop it right in. You're going to authenticate using your admin password. All right, we'll close down out of there. Go to your Pro Tools DVD. And we're going to click the Pro Tools installer here. And I don't feel like waiting for that, so we're going to skip over that. Install Pro Tools. 
continue. Well, that sounds great. That's way better than the error. So let's go ahead and go through this. Of course we agree. I don't need the video engine, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. Check out what else is in here. Yeah, should be good to go. And we're going to continue. Enter our admin password one more time. Actually, this one can just be your user password. And it's just letting us know it's going to restart there. And now we're at the system configuration window. All right, so we're going to pick the Avid HDX, HD native, or any non-HD hardware version. And the installer is going through. All right, and we're going to go ahead and restart because we have no other choice. We should have a screen like this here. So now we're going to go to our applications folder. And let's look for Avid here. And let's double click Pro Tools. All right, so now we're at the product registration. And we're going to go ahead and do a new system here. Pro Tools 10 HD, exit registration. Looks like we're ready to create a new track right now. We'll do record and mix, that sounds good. Uh, 24 track will be great. So, here we go. And there you go. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. Um, you know, Pro Tools is a very in depth program, so there's quite a bit of things that you can do. But I will upload a video after this one just showing, you know, myself recording a song just so you can see how it works and you know that uh, this is actually a real fix. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this helps you out. I know there's a lot of people out there doing music and, you know, it's not really fair to us that we have to buy a whole new version of Pro Tools every time that a new version of OSX is released.